Hi, welcome to Tech Arcade. And this is an updated video for AdMob uh, for, for Unity 3D on the Android platform. Uh, the reason why I'm doing an updated video is because uh, someone actually commented on my other video, which used the plugin version 3.0.0. And they said they actually had a problem. So if you look at here, it says command invocation failure, so on and so forth. So I went ahead and tried to figure out why that was the case. And yet, yeah, there's a new version of Unity out right now. Uh, the version, the latest version is 5.3.5 F1. And also, if you go to AdMob Unity GitHub and go to the official Unity plugin, uh, and we'll go down to releases. Uh, the current release right now is Google Mobile Ads Unity Plugin version 3.0.3. .3. Uh, so with that together, um, it gives you that error message, and I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. So this is going to be my updated uh, AdMob Unity 3D plugin update. So the first thing you got to do is download the Google Mobile Ads Unity package and also the source code. Once you do that, we can go ahead and begin a new project. So I'm going to call my project AdMob 3.0.3 .3 and create my project. Uh, while that is loading, uh, we'll go ahead and look at where our downloads are. So I got my downloads here on Google Mobile Unity 3.0.3-zip. Uh, so we got to actually get the uh, sample script from here. So let's go ahead and open this up, go into this other folder. If it lets when it lets me open it, uh, samples, hello world, assets, and the Google Mobile Ads demo script. Go ahead and copy that and paste it into your Unity project under the asset folder. So this is my AdMob 3.0.3 .3 under the asset folder. I'm going to paste that in. Uh, once that happens, I'm going to drag my Unity uh, window to my other monitor, do the 2x3 layout, and I got my Google Mobile Ads uh, demo script. The next thing I got to do is import the rest of the assets. So let's go ahead and do import package, custom package. And under my tag arcade, I got add mob 3.0.3. .3, and here's my Unity package. Open. And I'm going to import all of them. Uh, well, okay. So let's go ahead and open up our Google Mobile Ads demo script and add in our unit IDs. Okay, so while we're waiting for the Visual Studio to open up, let's go ahead and look at AdMob and get our unit IDs. So when you log into the AdMob homepage, we'll go to monetize. And we have our apps over here. Um, I created the Android test from my other tutorials. So that's how that came about. And here's our unit IDs. So it's going to start with the CA and then with a bunch of numbers. So I'm just going to copy the banner version and scroll down to my banner. Uh, request banner and added my unit ID. Now I'm going to go down to interstitial, copy that, and go back and copy that unit ID. Lastly, we got the create ad request. Sorry, we got a request rewarded based video. So Unity, sorry, uh, so AdMob actually has a new thing called um, rewarded. So to get this new ad ID, you can click on new. And on the third one, it says reward interstitial. I personally set it to use, use third-party part ad network settings and no cap on impressions. Give it a name. I called mine android-test uh, space rewarded. Call it anything you want and hit save. I'm going to hit cancel because I already created this. And lastly, you have to click on Configure Third-Party Mediation. So if you click on it and click on New Ad Network, you get to tie this to any of your uh, third-party networks that you choose to do. 
So you can get add, add colony, app loving, so on and so forth. So go ahead and click on the one that you want to use, add in your information, and uh, hit continue and work through it. And that's how you add the third party networks to the app lab settings. Um, so once you do that, let's go ahead and copy the rewarded ID. Copy that. And let's go ahead and paste that into our Unity script. Paste. Go ahead and hit save. Minimize this. And let's go ahead and create an empty game object. I'm going to call this Adma. I'm going to copy my Google mobile ads demo script to this. And just hit play, make sure everything works. And where's, there we go. Okay, so it works. I could request banners. Um, and I guess I could have my console up just to get these uh, console messages. But yeah, I could request banner, destroy banner, so on and so forth. So it looks like it's working. So I want to go ahead and build my project. So I'm going to build my Android project, say build. I'm going to call this Adma APK 3.0.3, let's say. So while it's building, let's just move things out of the way. And I forgot to add in a bundle identifier on my player settings. So let's go ahead and correct that. So my company is Tag Arcade Inc. Of course, you're going to add in your uh, company name to that field. And let's delete all this. Let's say tag arcade.admob. Once that's done, let's go ahead and build it again and see if it successfully builds. And I get this error message, fail to repackage resources. See the console for details. So if you look for the console, you are going to get these error messages right here. Uh, yeah. And there's the fail to repackage one that has all this extra stuff. So if you look carefully at the wording, you can see that the, there's an error with the Android manifest log or XML file. So the way to fix it is really, really strange. Go into your plugins, Android, Google Mobile Ads plugin, and the Android manifest file. Go ahead and delete this file. Once the file is deleted, we're going to re-import that into our projects. So we're going to go to Assets, Import, Package, Custom Package, re-look for our AdMob Unity plugin, open it, and you'll see that by default it's going to automatically check off the Android manifest. Go ahead and re-import that. Once the Android manifest is back into the project, go ahead and build. And surprisingly, this build will succeed. I don't know why you have to delete the Android manifest and re-import it for the build to succeed, but that's what it takes to get it working. So let's wait for the build to finish. Okay, so the build finished, and we got our nice AdMob APK 3.0.3. So let's go ahead and transfer this to our Android device and test it out there. Okay, so let's go ahead and run AdMob 3.0.3. Okay, so we're going to do request banner, and if we give it time, the, the banner is actually going to show up. So we actually don't have to click on the show banner icon or button. So we'll go ahead and destroy it. We'll request the interstitial. 
and we'll go ahead and show it. There it is. And we could close it. And the request for rewarded and show rewarded isn't working just yet because I didn't tie it to a third party network in AdMob. But assuming that you did and all the information is correct, then the request for rewarded and show rewarded sh should work as well. Uh, let's go ahead and jump back into Unity on the desktop. Okay, and that's it. That's how you build the updated version of uh, Google Mobile Ads or AdMobs Unity plugin version 3.0.3. .3. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, have fun and keep on creating games.